continuing now with Blender Challenge 21 horror movie, the autopsy of Jane Doe, and I am going to just do a couple of really quick texturing things in Substance Painter and bring them into Blender. This is the autopsy table, and I've already exported the FBX. I un UV unwrapped, and I brought it into Substance Painter, and so here it is, and I have baked the mesh maps, and now we're going to um, add a material. And it's going to be real simple, all right? I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to search for metal. And I'm going to use this iron rough. I've used it before. And that's what I'm going to put on. All right. And um, maybe we'll try just a little bit of dirt on this. Nothing too much. It's already got some imperfections uh, in there. And I don't want it to be too dirty. Anyhow. But let's, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'll try a fill and a black mask. And I'll make this a dark color. Sort of dark brownish. We'll try that and uh, let's see what if I click on here let's see what just a dirt generator does for us and that's kind of what I'm going to want to go for anyhow I'm just going to lower the level here just so I have just a little bit here especially in the uh, in the cavity area that's what I want all right and um, Maybe I'll bring the roughness up just a little bit on this. So it's been old and used. And that's good enough. There's, there's no alphas that I want to put on. I don't want to, I don't want to do too much. So uh, I'm going to save that and export it. And uh, we'll have a look at that in Blender. And then I think we'll do another one just like that. All right. So in Blender, you can see that I've dropped down a floor that I want to use. And I'm going to select a bit of this. And we'll go on the shading tab. And... Uh, Get that going. I can just do it this way. All right, I've got the material on there, autopsy table. So let's do the shift control T, autopsy table. And it puts it on all the parts because they all have that uh, texture, material, whatever. All right, so there it is in Blender. And what I'm going to do now is I've sort of prepped this cart here uh, for use. Let's select that. Actually, before I do that, I've got four legs to go on here. So let's select the autopsy table and just focus on that. I put some feet on here. I'll mirror that over and let's look on from the bottom. Let's go back to here and save. I'm going to Shift D, and I'm going to actually put feet there and here, and just copy them like that. All right, so this is what that what that would look like under these lighting conditions. That's it. That's all I want. All, all I needed to do for that. Okay, so let's now bring everything back and come over to lab cart number one uh, I've taken off mirrors and stuff like that uh, looks like I got something on there but, uh, and let's just focus just on that and this one should be uh, UV to and ready to go as well so let's go ahead and export that and bring it into substance painter all right here's what I've got I've got one material but I'm going to do the wheel uh, differently okay Let's come down to the layers. I'm going to use Iron Rough again. And that's going to put that on there. And I will I'm going to make a folder, actually. And I'm going to drag that in there. And right here, we've got that. And then let's do another folder. And do a black mask on that folder. And we're going to add... Let's see, smart materials. Let's see if we've got rubber. Plastic rubber. I wonder what I want for this. Let's try that. Let's, uh, let's put that there. Go into projection. And uh, as a mesh, 
polygon fill. And let's try mesh. And we're going to click on this wheel. And I'll close that up. Now there will be a subdivision surface on there. But that's what I get. Okay, I'm going to come up and fill black mask. And we'll make this a dark color. We'll put like a bit of dirt on here as well. Um, they're not going to be very visible or anything. So just a little something. Let's try. Um, let's try generator first. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Just that overall dirt shadow just brings out almost like ambient occlusion. Just a little bit of that. That maybe can be a little dirtier because it puts a bunch of chemicals on there. Okay, so I'm going to bring them back in and then we'll apply all the mirrors and I'll have to copy a few parts up. And then we'll have these two more pieces. And really a lot of this stuff is going to be very similar. And so I won't make you watch it all. I'll just do updates. And when I do like, you know, the pan, the instrument tray, maybe the other cart. You know, I don't think I'll make you watch all that. I'll just show you uh, updates. Okay, so let's uh, let's get going with that. Lab cart one. Hopefully that's okay. Shift control T. Lab cart. Okay, that did put it on all of that. All right, so let's come over here. Let's apply these modifiers see what we've got for modifiers there we go let's have a look at that first okay that's pretty dirty I may want to come back here and dial that back that may be a little bit too much let's try that i'll re-export the textures and just come into into blender here i'll just choose anything these are still selected i'm going to just delete them shift control t do that again and come down and find the lab cart and hope that it's uh a little bit less intense and that's that's okay like that okay I just need to remember now how I want to do this part here uh, I missed uh, that's got to be mirrored I think what I do is I take that and the pole in this and uh, this is not joined at this point in fact i might join this let's see what happens if i just do this there we go just makes it easier when i go rotate stuff around that really what happens if i join those two that really should be joined makes it easier as well now this doesn't seem to have that material on it so let's make sure we have that on there that's better so if i take this and this Shift D and duplicate it up to here. And then we're going to come in and I'm going to select, say, that end and this end to be symmetrical. Shift S, uh, cursor to selected, and I'll set the pivot to the 3D cursor. I should be able to uh, rotate this in the X. Kind of like I did before. I suppose that's probably all right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, all right. Now, am I missing anything on the cart? Is that supposed to have sides that I missed? I don't necessarily need to do sides, but I think maybe it had sides at one point. And, of course, the wheels aren't rotated yet either, but let's... Uh, Let's come back to median point for the moment and do this and slash key to bring that back. That may have had sides at one point. And uh, let me just see if 
they're in here anywhere if I hid them. No. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't delete them. We'll see. If I need to, I can just copy these. But for the moment, this is this is what I'm getting. Uh, and it may not look, you know, quite right in that in that lighting. We could try a different HDR just for the fun of it. Although that's a pretty good dark one. And then position them where I want them. Uh, that's what I'm getting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on, I think, and I'll, I'm going to do the same kind of thing here. Move the wheels around, that kind of thing. And I'm going to do the filing cabinets. I don't think that's anything exciting for you to watch. A book and a TV monitor. And, and, and all these things are basically going to have the same kind of material. And then I'll just have a look around the room and I'll see if there's any other quick items I want to place. Of course, I'll need to do this stuff here. The ceiling. The ceiling is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, these pipes right now have just a basic metal in blender. Um, and so they don't look very good. There's no noise or or dirt or anything but i'll just do these ceiling panels and i'll do some wires you know just with black plastic and you know these lights and maybe i'll texture those with you and then these ones and then we'll see where i'm at with uh with the scene okay so that's just a quick update showing some very simple substance painter stuff and we will see you next time